Now we are going to discuss the complete summary of this on-shelf availability. All the four components which we have just discussed, which was discussed about the planogram, the gap check, the replenishment, and the root cause analysis. So now we are going to see as a summary how it will overall impact on the business, especially within on-shelf availability parameter. So the first part was the planogram that we have discussed, this first part regarding the planogram. So what we have to do in planogram, two key things. You have to respect the planogram, whatsoever has been given the direction by the planning uh, manager, by the merchandising head, by the replenishing head, you have to respect that planogram and then you have to give the preset, the prerequisite for observer, which is the replenishment tool. So again, that planogram, because observer will be based on this, the planogram which you have set into the system. So planogram has to be there. So this should be the part of the main thing. Second is about the gap check through observer. So gap check twice a day that we have discussed as a summary. We have discussed first gap check you have to, day, you have to do uh, number one, be one hour before the store opening. And second time you have to do uh, after eight hours or normally at the end of the one shift. So twice a day you have to do this gap check. Frequency of this gap check should be daily or at least twice a day. Or ultimately, if you do it daily, it will serve the purpose. So gap check maintains the observer. So once you have the gap check, it is normally maintain the observer tool because that will give you alert, a correct alert or a false alert accordingly. So the third part, the third thing uh, was about the uh, replenishment. So what you have to do, we have discussed uh, now that you have to replenish first of all the prioritize articles and in the prioritize articles we have already discussed the articles which are ABC articles, the articles which are core assortment articles, the articles which are promotional articles. So all these articles are uh, should be prioritized articles and should be replenished as per the priority. So then you have to check the stock and confirm the replenishment. And then you have to use observer monitors, shelf availability automatically. So observer will guide you about the availability of that particular product on the shelf. And the fourth part was about the root cause analysis because unless you will not do this root cause analysis, you will never be able to find out the cellular problem and you will never be able to solve that gap problem. And that gap will be appearing again and again into the business. That should not be there. So what you have to do on this root cause analysis, you have to take action and then you have to register sales and update system. So once a root cause analysis has been identified, how you know already that whom to contact. You have to contact supply chain manager, you have to contact operations, you have to contact buyer. So after understanding that it was because of a delay in delivery, late in delivery, not ordering block articles. So whatsoever was the reason, you have to identify, register uh, sales into the system, and then you have to update the system. So making all these four points will really help you in improving the on-shelf availability, which was the core thing for a retail store. Because if the products are available on the shelf, customer will be satisfied and gratified. Ultimately, customer will not choose to opt for some competitor. Customer will not choose to leave your organization or you leave your store. So ultimately your customer uh, loyalty will increase and your store patronage will be increased at the end of the day. So on shelf availability is the key. Uh, you have to do follow the planograms. You have to make sure the gaps are properly checked and then the replenishment is immediately done. And of course, root cause analysis should be properly followed so that uh, the stock availability, on-shelf availability can be immediately improved and increased. And then ultimately it will give impact on the overall business of the retail store.